I hear people with this belief of I am who I am, that's who I've always been, and I can't change. And I'm wondering, is that true? Let's unpack it together. Stay tuned. I'm the CEO. It's mega chop, mega chop. You already know. In conversations with people, talking to them about their traits, their personality traits, how they handle things in life, I've heard many people, particularly when they're referencing traits that are perceived as negative things, well, that's just who I am. I can't change that. And it interests me the thought of becoming who you are through life experiences and being at a point where you believe nothing can change. And I look forward to talking with you more about that in this video. I want you to know that you have a place that you can come to though and talk with me live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evenings over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash megachopceo. All of the content that I create is up for discussion and I would encourage you to stop by and chat about it. So is it possible that we reach a point in our life where we're completely unchangeable, where everything that makes us up at that very point in our life is who we will ever be forever and ever until we die at least? I wonder. So let's rewind a little bit and look at what brings us on our life's journey. And that really is a series of events that take place in our life and decisions that we make in which path we take. We can go this way or that way. We can uh, go path A or path B. We reach different decision points in life where we could go maybe a couple ways, maybe hundreds of ways, and we ultimately go down one path. This may make more sense if we use an illustration to paint the picture. So say there's a room in your house that's off limits. Kids aren't allowed in, you're a kid at the time, and your parents are leaving the house and they're trusting you to stay home alone. And knowing that the rule is you don't go in that room. It's got really nice furniture, breakable things, and it's really just a room that they invite guests over and they hang out in the room, right? Okay, so you decide while they're gone, okay, I could either stay out of the room because I know I'm not supposed to go in, or I could go into the room and you choose, I'm gonna go into the room. Well, now that you're in the room, you face another imperative choice. Do I jump on the couch or do I not jump on the couch? Well, obviously I jump on the couch. So you're jumping on the couch, right? And all of a sudden the cushion rips. Now you have more decisions. Do I try and fix it? Do I turn it over and hope they don't notice? Do I leave it as is and come up with a lie if they find it? Well, I decide. Well, you decide that you're going to lie and try and cover your tracks as best as possible. So they come home and they notice it the next day and they come to you and they say, hey, the cushion is ripped. How did this happen? And you're like, it wasn't me. It must have been the temperature that you keep it in that room. It's colder than all the others. It had to have cracked. And your parents clearly know that that's not how this massive rip got in the cushion. And you get punished for a month. You can't have any friends over. So now you get the choice. Do you accept the punishment? say i messed up i deserve the punishment i earned it all right let's go or do you say who do they think they are punishing me are they ridiculous and so you hold some bitterness against them because they held you accountable fast forward 
20 or so years, you're in your 20s now, and you have a lot of interactions with people that wind up going south. The relationships blow up on you. For whatever reason, every relationship that you have in life seems to blow up in your face, and you're like, what the heck is wrong with all these people? Why are they wiling out? Well, maybe that initial decision on lying and not taking accountability and then being bitter towards your parents has started a chain reaction. You made multiple decisions that led you on that path, and now you're at a point where your natural reaction is to avoid accountability. So you have disagreements with your friends. You made a bad choice and it harmed your friends in some way and they call you out on it. And you say, who the heck are you? Who are you calling me out? I did nothing wrong. And that journey that you started when you were a child is carried into adulthood and you're still not accepting accountability for the choices that you make. Yet you're like, what's wrong with all these people? Well, there seems to be a common denominator and it might be you might need to look in the mirror now I'm not saying that accountability is your struggle this could be any number of things any bad habits that we have biting our nails smoking anything you you name it if there's something that you do that you know has a negative effect on yourself or others it's the result of decisions that were made along the way. So now at this point, you are wired that way. So you are, you are correct. You are who you are. Now the question comes back to, can this change? Well, if we look at what brought you to where you are current day, it was a series of choices. It was a series of decisions that you cognitively were like, here's A, B maybe A, B, C, D, F, G, whatever the options were, they were on the table and you thought through it and ultimately were like, bam, that's the route I'm taking. You may not have had control of all the circumstances that led up to where you were, but you were there and you made a choice in that moment and that impacted choices that you made for the rest of your life. And what happens with our brain is the first choice is cognitive, where we think through it, we analyze it. The next choice might become a little bit easier because we're like, oh, I've been through something similar to this and this is what I did, so yep, let's do that again. And eventually, the more times we make similar based decisions, we stop cognitively thinking through the steps and we just do. Our brain is wired to simplify things for us in life and we just do. So now we are in a state of I am who I am and this is what I do. But there were different decisions and changes that had to take place to get to today. Are there different decisions and changes that can be made to get you to a different future? Because you are who you are today and it's easiest to keep going on being who you are today doesn't mean that it has to be that way it doesn't mean that you can't change who you are tomorrow in the day after in the day after I've got a personal habit of always working on something to improve myself because I know that until the day I die I will never be the best me that I can be unless I keep working on it. So I've made a lot of journeys of change. I've reprogrammed, I've retrained my brain time and time again to handle things different, to process things different, to deal with things differently in life. And the exact process that we use, I actually have already outlined in another video. And that's taking your thoughts captive. And that's what we're going to need to do here again is taking those thoughts captive. I'm going to drop the link to my video about taking your thoughts captive down below so that if you didn't watch that yet and you're like, uh, how, do, how do I do this? You can go back, watch that video, and that's going to walk you through step by step. Now, that video was specifically made about depressive thoughts. 
because I battled depression and anxiety and this is a tool that I use to retrain my brain and retrain my actions and reactions. And so I know personally that it works hundreds of times over because I've made ridiculous change in my life. I'm not the man that I used to be five years ago, 10 years ago, 20 years ago, and I'm not gonna be the same man in one year, five years, 10 years, and so on. Trust me when I say, sure, you can be who you are and not change, but it's not because you can't, it's because you choose not to. You reach the point of decision again. You are who you are. Now, do you want to change it or do you not want to change it? That comes down to your choice of yes or no, which isn't an easy choice. There are a lot of things that I used to do that it was easier to continue doing, but I no longer do because it was the better choice. It led to more positive relationships with my family with my wife, with my children, with my parents. It led to more positive relationships with friends. It's healthy to grow. And I would encourage you to challenge yourself to step out of your comfort zone and take the step that you know you need to take right now for this journey, for this growth step. Whatever that is, while you were watching this video and you were like, yeah, I should probably consider that consider making a change, consider improving, growing in that area, do it. It's not going to be easy. It's typically not quick, but it's incredibly rewarding. And when people around you see the change, I guarantee you they're going to call it out, especially if it was something that impacted them in a negative way. And that feeling, you're going to be like, yes, I want that again. And you're going to be like, okay, what else can I work on? What else can I improve that I would impress my friends and my family, that I would wow them to see the change in me? And outside of that, you are now becoming the influencer to help other people make improvements in their life, to make changes, to better themselves, to help them grow and improve on a daily basis. Again, I would absolutely love to talk with you live. I am live Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evenings over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash megachopceo. And while you're here, feel free to uh, smack the subscribe, the like, and hit that bell for notifications. And I look forward to seeing you next time.